The countdown is on for the solar eclipse just six days from now. Downstate Carbondale is right in the path of the eclipse. But as Vince Girasoli reports, some schools are wrestling with whether students should see the event for themselves. We'd have to do some research to find that out. Getting students ready for Monday's solar eclipse sends a science teacher into orbit. It's amazing. I mean, it's what we live for is to a natural event that we can teach our students from. In Mundelein, District 75 schools decided they couldn't pass up on the living lab and ordered 2,000 solar viewers for students and staff. We have confirmation that they are in route to delivery today. The viewers are a better fit for students' faces and classes will practice their proper use this week. The sun will be there. They'll put their viewer up, turn, look, turn, viewer down. But with the risk of permanent eye damage, if not properly viewed, not all schools are opting in. Saying safety remains the district's priority, District 62 in Des Plaines is among those observing an indoor recess and keeping students inside for gym. And I think that's doing a huge disservice. Along with several other families, Danielle Young is pulling her fourth grader Olivia from school that day so they can watch the eclipse together. And this is something that nature and science is giving us for free. And so that's really exciting. NASA's website will stream the event for schools keeping students inside. The agency is also providing online resources for educators to ensure they're properly protecting students watching outdoors. And I'm glad they have them because it makes me feel, you know, being in charge of 1,700 students, very secure in what we're doing. For students, the out-of-this-world experience is already sinking in. It will look like the moon is almost as big as the sun, even though it's really not. It's a lot smaller. <laughs> Give Aaron Price there a gold star. Did a really good job in class today. Robin Eric, I wanted to demonstrate one more time for you the difference between the glasses and that solar viewer. So the glasses can be difficult to get on right away, especially for smaller kids as they try to balance them. But these solar viewers, you hold them straight up to your eyes and you have a little bit more control, and that's why the schools in Mundelein are using them. And can I say one more thing, Robin Erica? I, I had a whole stack of the, these glasses on my desk for Monday's coverage, and people keep asking me, can I have one? Can yeah. I have one? Now we're down to the final five, and we have to save them for coverage on Monday. You know what? Oh, right. I'm glad I asked you for three last Friday. <laughs> that yes, was... the supply is dwindling. We got to <laughs> yes. hold on to It's we all have about left. timing, isn't it, Vince? Hey, you know, Vince, it's a lot different than the last time we had a whole uh, solar eclipse when everybody used the boxes, the shoe boxes to look through. It's much more right, streamlined a, a, now. A pinpoint viewer, and for those of you at home, you just uh, pinch a, with a pin in one end of the shoe box, and then the light, if you hold, keep the sun to your back, you'll be able <laughs> to see some sort of reflection on the other oh, side. Oh, the day. And you know, so many kids, we can tell from your story, are excited. So to make it as easy as possible for them to see it safely is important. I just can't wait till Monday rolls around. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Vince.